the Solution Series, brought to you by Double Radius and hosted by me, Jeff Holdenrich. Our account managers, we speak to thousands and thousands of clients, and we field a lot of questions about new product releases. What makes this one different from the one I'm currently buying and deploying? Well, today we're going to get into the differences between Camium Networks, PTP820, and PTP850. Now, both these products are licensed point-to-point -point microwave radios, but what sets them apart? So let's look at the physical differences first. We all know that when you license a point-to-point -point link from the FCC, they grant you two channels, a high channel and a low channel. Basically, what this means is data is traveling across one of those channels in one direction and traveling across the other one on the other direction. So inside the radio is a diplexer, and this diplexer actually tunes the radio to the subband that covers the frequency that the FCC provides the channel up. In the PTP820, the radio and diplexer are in one chassis, and they cannot be swapped or changed. If the PTP820 is a high radio, then it can only work in the high channels, and same with the low. So if you stock spares, which we hope you do, then you need to stock a spare high and low radio to be prepared for any failure. And this is the biggest difference between the PTP820 and 850. The PTP850 actually comes with an interchangeable diplexer, and because of this, you can buy a standard radio which does not have a diplexer in it and swap it for the one that's in the faulty radio. So your downtime is essentially the time it takes for your tower crew or service or tech service tech to take down the bad radio, pull the diplexer and install the diplexer in the new radio, attach it to the dish and you're back up and running. It's a pretty neat little feature. It makes stocking spares a lot simpler and a lot more cost effective. So what are some of the differences? What are some of the other differences? Well, the PTP850 comes in your standard frequencies, just like the 820, 11, 18, and 23. Soon it'll be offered in 6 gigahertz, but it also comes in millimeter wave. So that's an 80 gigahertz link. But let's move on to ports now. The DC power port has not changed. It's the same on both. But the RJ45 and SFP ports all have changed. The RJ45 port is now a multi-rate port that supports 1, 2.5, and 10 gigabits. This is also the PoE port. Port 3 is changed to a dual band port supporting 1 or 2.5 gigabits. And last but not least, there's port 4 and 5 that have been upgraded to SFP+. Now, if you still want a management port, it's both, they're available in both units, so that's still there. So why is all this important? Well, the main reason is if you think about capacity of wireless today, and the channel sizes granted by the FCC, the speeds can and will exceed 1 gigabit. So if the radios can go faster, then shouldn't the ports be able to support this? The 850 does. Changing these ports alone allows us to do full speed MCABC. MCABC stands for Multi-Carrier Adaptive Bandwidth Control. It enables separate radio carriers or cores to be shared on a single port and or cable. When you look at the 820 and 850C, they both have two cores inside of them. And when these cores are activated, the bandwidth can and will be doubled and the throughput will, incre will be increased to greater than one gigabit. Basically exceeding the port capacity of the PTP820 and requiring multiple cables and lag on the ground. In the 850, the SFP Plus ports can handle the added bandwidth and with MC ABC enabled, all the data is carried on a single cable. Another cool feature that was introduced in the 850 is third-party MCABC. And what this does is it allows you to run a redundant link with Camium radios or other manufacturers, cable it into the PTP850, and still carry all that data on a single Ethernet or fiber cable down to your network or switch. Now we're going to shift over here. We're going to talk about adaptive modulation. This is a technique that allows the link to change its speed as outside conditions change. These changes can be caused by interference, temperature, weather, moving objects, things like that. And when this happens, the radio slows down <clears throat> and it increases the chances for all the packets to be received. The PTP820 maxes out at 2048 qualm, where the 850 can achieve 4096. Now, this extra step in modulation accounts for an increase of approximately 5% more throughput. The last thing we're going to go over today is 4 plus 0. Now, both radios are capable of doing 4 plus 0, but the port changes in the 850, it can actually do 4 plus 0 MCABC, allowing you to run four cores on a single antenna and only use one data cable between the radios and your network. 
If the channels are there, then this could be a serious data pipe increase for your expansion needs. Before planning or deploying Camium point to point system, you always want to use their link planner tool to make sure the link will produce the results that you want. Link Planner is a free tool provided by Cambium and it is so powerful. Inputting just a little bit of data and you can design your PTP system or point to multipoint system. Our staff is here to run these calculations for you or if you're like me and you just like to tinker with things and play with new softwares, you can do it yourself, send us the files and we can double check your work and make sure that everything is going to work properly. Remember, our staff is highly trained and we have the resources to not only supply you hardware, we can design and engineer these systems for you. And if we need to come on site to integrate these systems, we can do that with our tower crews and put this gear on your towers or buildings. Let us be a resource for you to succeed. I hope this segment has been beneficial to you and everyone has learned something new today. Thank you for taking time to watch this and I hope you check out our next solution series coming soon. This is Jeff Holdenrid with Double Radius and have a wonderful day.